Hi, I'm Trevor with Impact Guns, and today we're going to be going over the long-anticipated IWI Masada pistol. The Masada is a 9mm optic-ready pistol that was announced last year in 2018, and it's finally available on the market now at a great price point. We're going to go over the pistol, some of its features, what comes in the box, and then also take it to the range and shoot it to see how it performs. All right, we're going to start with unboxing this. As you can see, it comes in a very nice little box here with foam padding inside of it. You've got your manual warranty information and keychain here. The pistol does come with a five-year manufacturer warranty. When you buy from Impact Guns, we do also offer a lifetime warranty that would take over once that is over with. Right here, we have mounted a Trigicon RMR onto here. This will not come with an optic, but it does come with four different optic mounting plates. These are labeled too, so you can tell very easily what you're looking for right there. So it's got the Delta Point, obviously the Trigicon RMR, the Sig Romeo 1, and the Vortex Venom that you can run on here. All the screws are also included for those different brands. Get your lock, the two 17 round magazines, and your three different size back straps as well. So taking a closer look at the gun here, it's a full size pistol offering from IWI. It's got a 4.1 inch barrel, 5.6 inches tall, and 1.34 inches wide. The magazine has a 17 round capacity. This pistol has a nice subtle grip texture to it, so it's very comfortable in the hand. It's not too aggressive, like the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 is an example of one that's definitely rougher. Uh, this reminds me quite a bit of like a SIG, especially a P365. Just enough texture to really fit in your hand, but if you're going to conceal carry this, it's not going to catch on a shirt or sandpaper your skin or anything like that. And it feels very comfortable in the hand. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, it has three different back straps, so you can swap out the palm swell size as well to fit your hand. This pistol comes with standard three-dot sights, just normal contrast sights that are dovetailed into there. As mentioned earlier, it is factory milled to accept a variety of different optics. So it'll come with this little stock plate right here, branded IWI. But then there's the four different options you can mount onto there. We have a Trigicon RMO6 RMR on here, which we actually have a really great deal on right now. You can check the link below in the description to check those out. This gun comes in at a great price point for an optic ready pistol. MSRP on it is 480 but you can find it even cheaper than that. And that's a really great price when you compare it to the competition out there, which is going to be starting at least $550 to $650, and typically won't even come with all the different plates this one does. This pistol has fully ambidextrous controls. You've got your slide lock and magazine catch on either side, and it does not require you to swap those out to one side or the other. The trigger on this pistol actually surprised me with how nice it is. So you've got your blade style trigger safety, kind of like a Glock. Just verifying we're clear here. I'm going to show you guys the trigger press. So very smooth. There's your brake. Reset here with a little bit of over travel, but still no grit, no real wall to get over. Some nice features on this pistol are each side of this magazine base plate is ridged so that'll assist you in ripping the magazines out especially if you have some kind of double feed or malfunction where that's stuck in there. You've got your full length Picatinny rail up here to attach lights, lasers or other accessories and then these forward serrations are really nice good for doing press checks or otherwise just cocking the pistol if you prefer that. So many manufacturers will cheap out on the slide and finish when they're creating a more budget-oriented pistol. This one right here feels really solid. We weren't able to figure out exactly what the finish is on this slide from IWI's website or manual, but it does feel really good. There's really good machining marks and no kinds of wear or discoloration on the slide. It's a very good finish. 
The Masato takedown process is similar to a Sig Sauer. You've got your front takedown pin up here. So we're going to again verify that it's clear. Let's remove the magazine. This takedown pin is going to rotate 90 degrees. And then releasing the slide. One difference is you do have to squeeze the trigger in order to take the slide off here. So just be very cognizant of that. Additionally, it will come apart with the magazine inserted. So you want to remove that, especially if it has ammunition. The slide's going to come forward and off. This does have a modular chassis, similar to a P320 from Sig Sauer. So you got that all steel frame that the slide's riding on there. It's removable by taking out this takedown lever right here. And that would allow you to change up your frame, caliber, slides, and all that. So hopefully IWI is going to be releasing some different features for that in the future. Another nice little thing right here is these lightning cuts that they put into the slide here. So you can tell a lot of that extra space has been milled out, probably to offset the weight of an optic sitting on the slide. So to take out that modular chassis in here, you're just going to kind of pull out and twist on your takedown lever there. It's going to come out. And then this whole assembly is going to slide out of the grip frame. A little bit different than a SIG. You do have the spring, this little slide catch, and then another spring up here to be aware of. But this right here is your actual serialized firearm portion of this gun. So this would allow you to swap out different calibers or sizes of pistol without doing another 4473 or buying another pistol. All right, so this is my first time messing with this pistol, but just to show you guys, uh, right here there's a little lip on the back of that chassis there. It's going to go into the rear portion of this frame. So you want to do that first. And then you have to fit this little spring back into the hole in the frame. Also making sure your trigger's rearward to fit down into the trigger guard. From there, it's going to sit right in. And then you can replace your takedown lever. Kind of twist that into place, you'll hear it snap, and you're ready to go. Now that you've seen the pistol and all of its features, we're going to go try it out on the range. All right, so we've got some Winchester White Box 115 grain full metal jacket ammo here. We're going to see how it shoots. Now we're going to try a couple reloads with the pistol. So now we'll do a little bit of quicker shooting, like some control pairs, and see how it does.
All right, we just got off the range with the Masada pistol here. I'm very impressed with how it shot. The trigger press is very smooth. Uh, there's no wall like a Glock if you're used to that. Um, that does kind of mess me up. I'm not an expert pistol shooter or anything. Uh, we did a super quick zero with this RMR. That worked out really well on top of there. Quick follow-up shots, pretty easy acquisition. Right here is our target. This is about seven yards, 20 rounds. Pretty slow fire, about a second or so in between shots. And then, as you saw, we did a little more rapid fire uh, with some control pairs and even quicker shots. So obviously, group opens up a bit, but definitely a very accurate pistol. Very enjoyable to shoot. And uh, check it out at Impact Guns. You can find the Masada pistol and the whole line of IWI products at Impact Guns. Make sure to check the link in the description to find all of the products we went over today. That link will also lead you to our monthly giveaway, which this month we are doing a Benelli Super Black Eagle 3 worth over $1,700. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think. And as always, like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.